Solving problems involving addition. Have you been to Manila Ocean Park? Manila Ocean Park is the Philippines' first world-class marine theme park and one of the country's premier educational facility. Oceanarium, one of the attractions of the park, is home to 5,000 marine creatures. It provides a stunning work walkthrough that features different sections of marine life. It has an educational activity area that gives children and adults a fun and exciting way to learn more about different sea creatures. Carlo went to Manila Ocean Park for a field trip. The tour guide told him that there are 245 rainbow fishes and 109 clownfishes in a giant fish tank. How are you going to solve this problem? I want you to meet Rose. She will help us to know all the steps in solving problems. Hi, I'm your friend the word problem solver, Rose. Here are the steps you need to know to solve a word problem easily. First, read, understand, and analyze the problem carefully. Second, identify the given information. Third, find out what is being asked. Fourth, know the operation to be used. Fifth, write the equation or number sentence for the problem. Sixth, Solve the answer. And lastly, write the answer with the correct label. Let us now solve the problem. First is, what are the given? The given are the number in the problem. So we have 245 rainbow fishes and 109 clown fishes. Next, what is asked in the problem? Let's find out the question in the problem. How many fishes are there in all? For us to solve this problem, what operation are we going to use? Very good! We're going to use addition. Next, what is the number sentence? Let us use the given in in writing the number sentence 245 plus 109 equals n always remember children in writing the number sentence you need to write equals n then after that let's now solve the problem let's have the solution 245 plus 109. Always remember to write the numbers vertically according to their place value. So let's solve the ones place. 5 plus 9 equals... Very good! We have 14. Then regroup 1 to the tens place. 1 plus 4 plus 0 equals... That's correct! It's 5! Next, let's have 2 plus 1 equals... Fantastic! It's 3! So let's now write the final answer. Always remember children, in writing the final answer, you need to include the label. So we have 354 fishes. Let's have the next problem. Kashmir owns a candy store. One day, she sold 135 pesos worth of lollipops and 92 pesos worth of mint candies. How much did she earn? Again, the first thing that we need to do is to write the given. So the given are 135 pesos and 92 pesos. What is asked in the problem? How much did she earn? What operation are we going to use, children? Very good! It's addition. 
Next, let's write the number sentence using the given numbers. We have 135 plus 92 equals N. Always remember to write equals N. Next is, let's have the solution. In doing the solution, all we need to do is to write the numbers vertically according to their place value. So let's solve from the ones place up to the hundreds place. So 5 plus 2 equals... Very good! It's 7! Let's proceed to the tens place. 3 plus 9 equals... Fantastic! It's 12! So we need to regroup 1 to the hundreds place. 1 plus 1 equals... Very good children! It's 2! So for our final answer, we need to include the label. So we can get the label from the what is us. So the question here is how much did she earn? So our final answer is... She earned 227 pesos. Let's have the last problem. Rafael has marble collection. He counted 83 red marbles, 75 blue marbles, and 101 pink marbles. How many marbles does he have in all? Again, the first thing that we need to do is to identify the given numbers. We have 83, 75, and 101. Next, let's identify the question in the problem. How many marbles does he have in all? Next, let's have the operation. What operation are we going to use, children? Very good! It's addition! Next, let's have the number sentence. We have 83 plus 75 plus 101 equals N. So now, we are ready to solve the problem. All we need to do is to write the numbers vertically according to their place value. So let's start from the right. We have 3 plus plus 5 plus 1 equals Very good! It's 9! Now, let's proceed to the tens, please. 8 plus 7 equals 8 on your mind 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 We have 15 Then 15 plus 0 equals very good! It's 15 because any number that you added to 0, the sum is the number itself. We can now regroup 1 to the hundreds, please. 1 plus 1 equals... Fantastic! It's 2! So let's now write the final answer. The final answer is 259 marbles. Always remember to include the label to your final answer. Is that clear? Remember, children, the steps in solving word problem. First, read, understand, and analyze the problem carefully. Next, identify the given information. Third, find out what is being asked. Fourth, know the operation to be used. Fifth, Write the equation or number sentence for the problem. Fifth, solve the answer. And lastly, write the answer with the correct label.